Beautiful up here. Wildflowers, green forested hills, no evidence of forest fires, and this road is basically just a dirt road with embedded rocks. That's the only challenge. It's not loose, it's not too steep, there's no ledges. And it's only about 10 or so miles up and over the top, so it's definitely not an all-day ride or anything like that. If you're in the area looking for a place to camp, maybe come up here and camp. I did see a couple parties of side-by-sides traveling out, so imagine this is a pretty popular side-by-side -side trail and you might see some other folks up there. This is way cool. I just rolled up to the top of Ptarmigan Pass and as you saw there's a whole flock of sheep up here and the sheep herder who lives in this little cabin behind me, I was just talking to him. He's a guy from Mexico and he's spending months up here in these mountains with his sheep. I'm going to pitch my tent up here, hang out with these sheep. It's a beautiful night. I'm super stoked to be up here. So happy. I'm going to ride around through the sheep. I was just talking with the sheep herder. He said I can spend the night up here. This is so awesome. What a golden opportunity. I got up here well before sundown and I get to have some beautiful cinematography with these sheep. Look at that. Wow. You just don't get to see this every day. Holy cow. This literally takes away all of the angst that I've been feeling this afternoon, which we don't need to go into that, but it's not always easy being an adventure motorcyclist, getting out to these kind of places. You have to spend a lot more time than you want to in the big cities, that kind of thing. And that's what happened to me today, I was dealing with all that stuff, traffic and just so many other things, but now it's all a distant memory because I'm up here in this beautiful high country just riding around doing what I love to do. up here on the top of Ptarmigan Pass. I found a perfect place to camp. The weather is absolutely gorgeous and there's over 2,000 sheep and the sheep herder that's taking care of them up here. I'm going to get camp set up as fast as I can, enjoy this evening light, try to do the best photography that I can and cook a dinner. It's a tall order to get all that accomplished but let's do it. Yes? Claro. Tea? Este? Sí. Uh, mint. Té de menta. Ya. Yeah. Menta. Sí. Bien. Salud. Salud. ¿Y cómo se llama? José. José Sterling. Mucho gusto. Sí, igual. Uh, su trabajo, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Mm. ¿Qué tipo de trabajo? Borreguero. 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 Sheep herder. I can't believe I'm up here on a mountaintop in Colorado with a sheep herder. And I had to explain to him that I'm a YouTuber out here making videos. That's so freaking weird. It's a strange world that we live in, people. It is a very strange and beautiful world. 
and I'm happy to share it with you and I'm happy to share it with him. It doesn't make sense, but it's all right. I'm so lucky to be up here right now. So lucky to be in this place with this experience that's happening. It's really changed my day a lot. And I just, I don't know what else to say except that I'm really grateful to be up here having this experience tonight. This is what it's all about. We're not exactly out in the middle of nowhere. Um, this particular pass, it's north of Leadville. It's called Ptarmigan Pass. So amazing. This is like such an ancient human ritual here. It's increasingly hard to find a scene like this in the modern world in the United States. And it's really cool to be up here right now, knowing that this is where I'm gonna spend the night with all these sheep running around and the dogs and the horses and the sheep herder. Pretty cool, the sun's going down over the mountain there and the sheep are going up to where they spend their night. Really looking forward to waking up here tomorrow morning and I'm so happy that I found this place tonight. And the irony is, is that it was probably one of the easiest passes, one of the easiest roads that I had marked as a, as a potential riding location, you know. We often think we have to do the, the hard stuff to, to find what we're looking for, but a real theme for me on this trip and of late in my life is that you don't have to go to the extreme to find what you're looking for, to find that kind of experience, whatever it is you're looking for. In my case, it's a kind of peace, a kind of contentment, a kind of no stress situation good easy roads that just lead into places like this and that's what I found today definitely wasn't the hardest road on the map that's for sure but as it turns out it was the most beautiful and the most meaningful part of this whole trip for me so far so I'm really happy to be up here I'm really happy that I took the easy road makes me feel good to to know that that was a good choice and I don't think I'm coming up with anything else to say tonight. I'm just going to enjoy the rest of this night, cook a little bit of dinner, and then wake up at this beautiful spot in the morning. What an amazing night up here on Ptarmigan Pass. The sheep herder just went up the mountain on his horse to go put some salt out for his sheep. We're going to take a little look at his cabin here. So this would be a typical sheep herder's cabin here in North America. It's a nice little metal weather protected hut. It's got everything he needs inside of there. It's a pretty simple lifestyle. They spend months at a time up in the high country tending to their flocks. He's got propane. He's got a wood stove in there. Apparently he doesn't have enough marijuana. He was asking me about that. No, no, it's the marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> no mota. This is where he lives for months at a time when he's not down in Mexico. He said he lives up here for eight months out of the year. And then he goes back home to Mexico for the other four months. He has four children. And this is his life. It's a simple meal tonight. Just a can of chicken corn chowder and some roasted garlic naan bread. A nice warm meal at the end of the day. I think we're done. Dinner is served. Oh yeah, nice and Nice and warm, just like it came out of the oven. Mm -hmm. 
it's got to be a pretty Spartan life up here. Pretty simple. For months at a time. But the benefit is that you get to be in a place like this. It would have a profound effect on your consciousness to stay up here for months at a time like this guy. Just being in this environment for such a long time. I could get down with that. Maybe I'll be a sheep herder. If this YouTube thing doesn't work out. Yeah. I think this really caps off my Colorado adventure that I've been having for the last few days. You know, I came up here intending to ride a bunch of new roads, roads that I haven't ridden before. And it was a little more challenging than I thought. Partly because some of these roads turned out to be more difficult than I expected. And also because you just have to make your way through a lot of traffic and cities and those kinds of things just to get out to some of these places. And I guess I just wasn't quite prepared for that or as expecting that to happen as much as it did. But it is totally worth it to find these little gems of the roads that come out to paradises like this. I'm so glad that I took it and got here when I did and had a chance to meet my friend, the shepherd, and see him at work and spend the night up here. and. Just a really cool part of this trip for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one a lot. I am gonna get on the bike now and ride up north towards Wyoming. We'll see you around. <laughs>